Hi everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to Shalama Craft Garden and Kitchen video. Okay guys, I am going to give you guys an update of my garden. And I haven't been feeling too well. So as you can see, my garden, I have to weed. And the sun is like coming out. So I don't know if I'm going to weed. But I did water, so I decided to share with you guys and give you guys an update of a little bit of a garden tour, how my garden is doing. So my sunflower, as you can see, finished. It was a beautiful sunflower and that a beautiful head of uh, sunflower seed right there. I'm saving for seed. There's another one over here. And as you can see, my sunflower, my sunflower, wow my beans as you can see my beans are doing so good everything is growing so good not everything i'll show you guys the ugly part of my garden also so my beans are doing very well and as you can see there there are beans here there's there's beans and there's a few of them is ready for harvesting like this over here is ready for harvest there's a lot of long green beans. There's a lot, lot, lots of them. Lots of them. There's lots of beans. And over here, um, this is a different varieties of beans. I haven't seen any comes any beans on this one yet. But I'm pretty sure I will share with you guys. Oh, there's a lot of blooms right there. There's blooms. So I'll share with you guys what this beans is. And this one here, I bought the um, I bought some beans from the um, Asia market, and I decided to put a few seeds down, and that's what came up right there, guys. And then over here we got some green amaranth or green charibaji. And then if I go back over here, I'll show you guys my. This is my flower. I have my chair here where I sit sometimes, and then. This over here that I, it's a wild sweet peas. I did found the name for it. It's a wild sweet peas. And it's growing too there and how beautiful that is guys. That's in the, in the middle of my trellis. We have a lot of um, pumpkin. Pumpkin, I have a lot of pumpkin guys. There's a few pumpkins. I have Guyana squash also. Ghana squash or summer squash. There's a pumpkin there and another squash there. I have some um, bird gourd. Um, some people do eat it. There's bird gourd. Or there's another one. There's a few over on the other side. I will share with you guys. And uh, as you can see, my pumpkin is doing so well. Look at pumpkin, guys. There's there's a pumpkin up there. There's a pumpkin up there. There's a pretty nice giant pumpkin up there. There's like five pumpkin up on my um, trellis. And then I have these over here. Yes, these are beautiful pumpkin. Look at this one. How funny looking that one is. That's a funny looking pumpkin, isn't it? It's cute. Then I come over here. If I come over here, then... We have another different varieties. There's there's that one over there. And then we have another big one growing right here, guys. There's another big one. Over here is a mullen. And that's where my pumpkin starts from here all the way from the behind of my greenhouse. I'll go show you guys. This is where my pumpkin patch started. As you can see, it's picking over, going on the fence. And if you can look straight over there, there's a big giant pumpkin there. And this is the back of the, um, the trellis. And there's some, I saw some nice gourd, like there's one right there. You guys can see that one right there. There's quite a bit of those on here. I 
it's sunny, the sun is hot. There's another big pumpkin up there, guys. There's a lot of pumpkin, lots of pumpkins. So yeah, this is where my pumpkin patch started. So we're gonna go to the other, other side and share with you guys what's on the other side. Over here is my two okra plant. And there's something eating the leaf, but otherwise they're doing well. Over here, as you can see, we, uh, my husband is going to come later on once the sun goes down and we are going to harvest some of these eggplant. Over here is my giant sunflower. It is so tall. It's like really, really tall, guys. Sorry to sh make the camera move that fast. But that's a giant, that's a big sunflower tree. The ugly part of my garden is my beets growing in the bottle. That's ugly. But they got beets on it. They got some beets on it. So that's good. Over here is where my Indian corn was in this bed over here. And as you can see, guys, there's no corn. Over there where the red amaranth was, was my sweet corn. So, the raccoon got to my corn before we do. So, we had to take all the stubs out. And hopefully we got a, a new plan for next year so I could grow my corn. Uh, over here we have um, yellow um, zucchini. We got a few on here. And I think there's a few two, three of them there to harvest. We got bees on there. Over here, I harvest some of my um, lemon balm and I make some tea and it tastes so delicious and I dehydrate, not dehydrated. I put it to dry in the sun to dry. I didn't put it in dehydrator. So this is my lemon balm, balm patch that I cut up. Over here, this is one of my rose bushes. They fin these finished bloom, and then now these are starting to bloom. My pink hibiscus and my beautiful, beautiful big hibiscus. That's a beautiful tree. I have two of those, and I have three of the pink hibiscus. Over here is my white eggplant. Not doing so well, so we're gonna harvest the eggplant on here and we are going to cut this down and just um, drop it in there and let it finish with this one is going to be all cut down so that's going to be done over here is a volunteer tomato plant and as you can see there's lots of tomato loads of tomato on it some of them started to get ripen there's loads of tomato on it over here we have another eggplant and as you can see there's lots of eggplant. There's more coming up. There's a lot of, lot of eggplant. Look at that, guys. Look at all those eggplant. There's eggplant even all the way in there. Those are all the eggplant on this plant. So um, these are, some of these gonna get harvested, the big one. I'm gonna share with my neighbors and I am going to see if I could can some uh, and there's another one over here. There's this one over here has some. We have some. There's some big one on here. There's there's a few big ones on this one. And this one have a lot. It's still this one is still blooming. So these two eggplant, three eggplant is gonna stay. I am going to harvest my first time planting planting celery. And I am going to harvest it because the leaves started turning brown. And this is going to go on my dehydrator for, um, for winter time. Or when I make soups or whatever, I could just add a handful to my soups. And over here is the other um, pink, pink and white or pink and I, I call it pink. It's not pink. It just has this red inside and, and it's beautiful. Um, hibiscus over here is my tomato jungle this is tomato jungle guys it's loaded with tomato as you can see 
there's tomato everywhere. Even on the on the ground, there's tomatoes. There's tomato everywhere. I am going to show you guys. Look at this. The weight of the tomato plant. The tomato. Look at that. The weight of the tomato. It just pulled the whole the whole tomato plant down. Over here, I have. Look at those tomato guys. Look at those tomato. Those tomato all the way down, all the way down to the bottom here. Look at the size of those tomato. If I could get there in there and show you guys what it looks like. Because there's a branch right there. Oh, I cannot see my head. Okay. Right there, guys. Those are all tomatoes. There's loads of tomato. And then we have this this one here. It's so heavy. Look at it. There's tomato. It just fell to the ground. Look at all that tomato. There's tomato. So this is my tomato. Over here, I'm going to show you my ugly tomato plant. Okay, guys. This is my ugly tomato plant. The tomato is so big and heavy and it pulled the whole cages down that's how much tomato is on this one plant look at it look at all those tomato there's tomato all the way down down to the, the bottom of the um stem so i have no idea what to do with that tomato plant sorry about that so we're gonna go to the other part of the tomato jungle okay guys over here is my um same or hyacinth beans and i'm going to share with you guys the back of my beans before i go to my tomato other side of my tomato jungle okay guys look at these beans are ready to harvest these are ready to harvest we got quite a bit of these beans there's a yep there look at that those are ready to harvest we are going to harvest when it's when the sun goes down and as you can see, there's lots and lots of bloom on my long beans. Lots and lots of bloom. Lots of beans. Lots of beans. Look at this, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, over here we got more eggplant. Look at this, guys. Look at all these eggplant. Look at this. We have loads of eggplant to harvest. I could tell you that. But when we're ready to do the harvest, we are going to do a video. Look at all that eggplant. Sorry about that. Over here, we got some peppers. We got, this one is loaded with pepper. There's loads of pepper on this plant. Then we have more eggplant over here. More eggplant. I have two sorrel, two more sorrel tree over here. There's a pokeweed growing here. And there, is one of my big pumpkin. My husband is gonna build something to put on the hair so it doesn't pull my fence down. So that's one of my big pumpkin. And over here is the beauty of my pokeweed tree. It's blooming. And that's my pokeweed right there. So we're going to the other side of the garden. Okay guys, over here is a uh, better looking green amaranth or charai bhaji as we call it back home and this one here is going for seeds so I am going to leave this one to go to seed so I can have some seed for next year then I will harvest the leaf and um, either freeze it or dehydrate it over here as you can see my ground cherry guys are loaded look at all that beautiful ground cherry look at that over here guys look at all that ground cherry over here i have a um hungarian wax banana pepper but the, over here i think i planted it too late and the pepper is not that big 
they're like this is a very young one so we'll see what happens over here we have uh, a yam growing in a bucket for the first time then over here is not a volunteer grape tomato growing here and i did have i did it was there was one on here look at that loads of loads of grape tomato on this one too so and i had one ripe one from it my first tomato and it was so delicious i had my first tomato out of this grape tomato volunteer tomato plant and then over here we have two more sorrel tree actually three there's another one behind there a little one then we have a sunflower here over here actually in this bucket here we got some peanuts growing in here um a red bell pepper not doing too good and over here for my first time growing chayote it's growing in a bucket and i haven't seen any chayote yet then if i come over here there's my bitter melon and i have a few bitter melon on here i have a few of them quite a bit there's some down here there's some over there um there's some big ones there's some big ones there's a big one right here look at that there's some over here over there so i'm happy with that and the ugly thing is my ugly cucumber look at that cucumber i have two different varieties that's a round one and then we have the green the green one and that's one ugly cucumber tree guys that's my ugly cucumber tree okay so over here we got some more peanuts and growing in um bags we got two bags then we have the sunflower over here i have to put a cheesecloth because the birds keep coming trying to eat the seeds so i have to cover the flower with um cheesecloth so the seeds are safe safe and sound so let's go to the other part of the garden over here we have some celery growing in these bottle i did harvest my lettuce and um i did harvest my lettuce and something else i had on here so just only thing left here is my celery i'm waiting for it it's now it start perked up and um we'll wait on these but i will harvest the the one in the tire to dehydrate it and then these will follow behind over here is one of my Guyana pepper tree and yes it does have a pepper right there so yeah this is this is very hot there's pepper on it this here is a very very hot pepper so I have my Guyana pepper over here we got some jalapeno we got some jalapeno then over here we have some sweet basil is going for seeds so I am saving the seed I am saving the seeds there's some of my more of my African marigold there's three lemon um, plant coming up there then we have the sweet potato and something is eating the sweet potato over here we have more peanuts then we have um, tamarind root there's a sunflower growing in the bucket, more peanuts. And in over here, there's a ginger root growing in there. Over here is a volunteer um, beans. So I just let it go and it just take off and it went. So I'm waiting to see what type of beans is growing there then over here in this bucket here i have my lemongrass so in the winter time i could just cut it back and use the the leaf and bring the bucket inside and then bring it back outside next year so i have my lemongrass over here we have some beets oh. we got some beets growing here and we got some beets yeah this is my beets there's some beets right here this is my beets over here, more beets, and these look better than the one in the bottle. And then over here 
is my Guyana poi bhaji or some people call it kalaloo or spinach so um there's my Guyana poi bhaji or spinach then I have three of the Swiss chard over there and then in this barrel over here this barrel this barrel and the other barrel over there are my potato and this is the other side of my tomato jungle guys this is the other side of my tomato jungle there's some red tomato in there so today is my husband I day off so I will let him take a break today and then tomorrow we're probably gonna come out and harvest and, and there is more tomato that's my this is the other side of my tomato jungle and then there's more tomato there's lots of tomato lots of tomato you know it's loads of tomato I love I am going to save seed for next year all these plant that grows it's from starting from seed I start them from seed and um, I'm happy they they're looking really beautiful and healthy so there you go guys this is part that I said I was gonna share with you guys over here we got an apple tree growing finally and this is my ugly pepper tree bugs been eating them bugs been eating them but they has pepper on it this one has a bell pepper there's bell pepper um, over here we got some cherry pepper we got stinging nettle because I I got stung by it there's more jalapeno over here there's a jalapeno over here there's a hundred and one cherry tomato over here has a few on it and what else and then here we go my hyacinth beans it's taken off and now some of them start to bloom and we are waiting for having some hyacinth beans over here is one of my wing bean that came up so I'm gonna wait to see how this is doing we'll give you guys an update on the wing bean so as the um, actually I will do an update of the whole garden to see what else coming up over here over here we have some spinach Guyana spinach our poi bhaji we got three zucchini over there and then my flowers over here I have my carrot looking really good and they're looking really beautiful too so guys that's my carrot okay guys that's what's going on there over here we have some more pepper as you can see they're starting to get ripe on the tree so I can't wait to harvest these pepper and there's there's an ugly part of my garden that's an ugly zucchini plant yellow zucchini that's an ugly one over here we got some more of red pepper there's a few red pepper on here we have to harvest so okay guys if you guys like my garden tour and update of my garden please like share and subscribe and we are going to share when we come to harvest and how much we harvest and um, okay guys so I'll catch you guys on another video thank you guys so much for watching bye bye